Sir, well, welcome to Toronto. Welcome back to Toronto. Thank you. Um, wow. I, I was saying, I, I told you guys this last week, but I love this one the best because I like the fact that everybody is so fleshed out. It's not just about Bella and Edward and, you know, and the Cullens, we really get to get to know them a little bit better. That must have been fantastic for you guys, I would think. To get to know? Well, well, we'll just flesh out the characters a little bit more. I believe, I mean, Jackson, who plays Jasper, had a great time showing the backstory and, and the flashback scene. I wish I could do that for Emmett. You know, I wish there was a place in the movies where I could. And there is an excerpt on Stephanie Meyer's website where it talks about Emmett and the bear and mm -hmm. his relationship and his relationship with Edward and how he became a vampire. And, uh, you know, it would be really fun to show that. I think we all have such a great taste of our characters and what we've done as far as backstories for our characters that, uh, you know, we're just excited that the movies continuously grow and expand right. with, with us being able to show that off. Yeah, but there's nothing like being paid and being able to kick some butt and go to the gym and get trained and eat like a pig. And, you know, come on, dude, that's got to be really fantastic. I, <laughs> I mean, that's just who I am. That's who Kellen is. I, I like to be active. I love sports. I love to eat. I love meat. I love uh, just eating a great steak and high protein diet. Um, but again, I'm, I, I wasn't, we had trainers, but it's not like someone paid me to eat or set up a diet or, or <laughs> called me every three hours saying, all right, it's time to drink your protein shake. Yeah. I'm dying to do a, a Marvel comic book character where, you know, like Ryan Reynolds, yeah. you know, for these movies, he has a trainer on him 24 seven saying, eat this, eat this, don't eat that ice cream. You know, I wish I had someone to be like, all right, put the gummy bears away. Yeah, but you're shooting a movie right now where you are playing a Greek god, I my am. friend. Okay, I am. come on. You know, show us those guns. I mean, that but is, that's got to be amazing. It is, but even then, like, I, I went, my first day of rehearsals was back in March, and everyone else was on diet. Everyone else, had, you know, was with their trainer and setting up these goals, and I kept on talking to production. I'm like, all right, so when do I get to meet with this nutritionist and, <laughs> and this trainer and what, what diet do I need to be on? And no one would talk to me. Yeah. And then sooner or later, I, I, I just got kind of annoyed and I was like, all right, tell me what I need to do. And they're like, Kellen, you, you, you somewhat got this job because you're acting chops, but also you're fit. Yeah. These other guys need to, to you right. know, somewhat, it's an honor that they see me as a god or yeah. I'm fit enough to play one. But uh, it, it was kind of a compliment in a way. But again, I, I like being on a set kind of regiment, if yeah. I could. Yeah, for sure. Now, I, I just wondered, like, did you have a huge beef with Taylor Lardner because he got to run around with his shirt off all the time? Because now we're only seeing you with your shirt off all the time. So there must have been some jealousy going on there, huh? No, not at all. <laughs> uh, I, I've barely worked with Taylor. I mean, the werewolves and the vampires yeah. don't really come come together too no, often. But just for him being on set without a shirt on, going, you know, now in my next role, I'm going to be without a shirt on. That's just the way it is. I much prefer having my clothes on. Okay. I, I, I am blessed with good genes and, and a fast metabolism where, you know, I, I do have a, a certain built. But again, I don't want to be typecast as yeah. the guy Very without strange. his shirt on. Yeah. I do have brains. I, 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 I believe I can act and I, I, I want to expand that versus being the guy who's always on the beach without a shirt yeah. or or just known as that and it, it I'm, I'm blessed to have people who want to shoot me doing photographs men's health was it was an honor I don't think pretty cool. thankful to have the genes that I have but but again like I I don't look for roles where yeah. I'm where I'm topless and I do a mix of you know I did love wedding marriage where I'm in a suit yes. the whole time then I did the killing game where I'm topless with with staples in me and nails in my back and big cuts and I'm topless in that. So it's it's a good balance. It's a good balance, yeah, for sure. I mean. Now, I, I want to ask, I was asking Ashley this too, but being on, on the Eclipse movies, I mean, obviously this is for the fans. I mean, you guys are doing it because you yeah. love it, but it's for the fans and the pressure's there and, you know, you really want to make them happy. But do you find at the end of the day, like, because of your fame and everything that's exploded because of this film, you have to develop a bit of a thicker skin. Sometimes you open the papers and you're like, oh, man, I can't believe they wrote that. Or, you know, stuff like that. How do you handle it? Uh, I mean, I <laughs> the only time I really buy the magazines are when I'm traveling and I travel a lot it's always funny what people write mm. some people love you some people hate you that's life yeah so when they do write bogus reports it's you just take it with a grain of salt you don't really believe it and the the funny thing is when when you see pictures of yourself when you didn't know photographers were there right. and it's just kind of like oh geez like they're good they they hid well um 
But again, to each their own, things need to sell, so some magazines will write gossip, and that's what it is. It's gossip. Yeah. Do you, are you uh, looking forward to Breaking Dawn being in two parts? I am, because it elongates the experience that Twilight is. I, I love my character. I love the press that we get to do. I love the fans. Yeah. I, I, I just love this whole experience. So now that Breaking Dawn's broken into part A, part B, or part one, part two, <laughs> it's two more premieres, two more press junkets twice the length of time I get to travel and see the world. I, I'm really hoping we get to do a press junket or yeah. something in Brazil and, yeah. and Iceland and, and Portugal, all these, all these great places. I'd love to go to China and, and, and do press, anything and everything. Because again, it's, I love the fans. They're the ones enabling us to really continue on and work. And, and they're not just Emmett fans now. They're my fans. They're, they're going to see my other movies. And exactly. it, it's really great to have them scream my name versus you know, when it was just Emmett when the first movie came out. Now they're my fans, and it's really endearing. That's very cool. And also, the longer you get to work with these people. Exactly. I mean, it's it's a, a friendship that we forged for life, and it's a great family reunion. We don't get sick of each other because we're only, honestly, together for three months of shooting. Then we go and do other movies. And it's always great to come back with, with a cast who you've already grown with. Yeah. So it's going to be weird saying goodbye, but I don't think any of us have really contemplating yeah. saying it. Yeah, you got a while. You got a while. We got a while. Well, congratulations. Like I say, really, this was a really fun film. Thank you. I really liked it. And best of luck with everything else you got coming Thank up. You. I can't wait to see those films. Thanks. It's great. Thank you. Okay.